So we've got all that uh, sulfuric acid solution that we got out of those car batteries. Of course, it's not convenient. That's like a gallon jug and a bit of another gallon jug. It'd be much better if it just fitted into one for storage. But even better if um, we just get it down to the minimum. So when we do another battery, we can just have one bottle. So what we're going to try and do is concentrate the sulfuric acid uh, solution because it's mostly water in this case and to um, concentrate it it's as easy as just heating it up and boiling off the water now the water has a lot lower boiling point than the um, acid so that that will boil off down get it right up in concentration and um, it will take up their space and we'll, we'll know when the water contents getting quite low as the sulfuric acid will start to vapor off and it's a very very white vapor so we've got our lab glassware the oh, how do you say it special glass that's an easy way to say it or boris skillic or you know it's, it's very very good with heat so we've got that it's not ideal we'd be better off with a uh just a a beaker a big beaker but we don't have one so got to make do with what we've got you don't really want to use normal glass because that I have a tendency with the heat differences to just shatter or explode and you don't want the acid to go everywhere so we've got that we've got our funnel and we've got a coffee filter because if you remember there was a lot of and you can see it in there there was a lot of stuff floating in that when we first tipped it in there but it's all settled so just in case some of that comes up that filter should take care of it Yeah, a, a bit of it has come off the bottom, so. That filter was a good idea. It's a coffee filter, I think. That's number one. The filter's obviously working because it's slowed it down quite a bit. The water's a little bit muddy looking. But it'll get out the big particles at least. It's taking a long time. Obviously doing its job. We're doing this outside, of course, so if there's any dangerous fumes and things, it'll be safely ventilated. We're not going to do it to the stage where there's a lot of sulfuric acid vapour coming off, so... Just going to try and get the majority of the water gone. Maybe so it's about 70-80% sulfuric acid. Boiling away merrily now. You can see it's gone very cloudy, cloudy colour now. Topped it up with a little bit more. And it's going to need to go for a number of hours. Our acid's still boiling away nicely. You can see the actual liquid's gone white now. I don't know what that means. I don't think that normally would go white, but 
we'll have to see when it cools down. Now the level was up about there before from memory. We've done quite a bit, we've got down quite low so just got to keep an eye on it. Once that steam vapour turns into a, uh, a thick white cloud we've hit the we've started vaporizing the sulfuric acid and we want to stay well away from it and turn it off and let it cool down because that'll mean that we've reached such a con such a concentration that that's that's all we need so and we can bottle it up bit more boiling now We've come down all the way from up there, so we're close now to getting an optimal, an optimal uh, concentration versus our health. So I need to come down a little bit more, which is good. We're starting to run out of light. Right into winter now. Not much light left in the days. Been a good day today, though. We're going to have to cut this one off for tonight. It's boiling a lot there. I know it must be fairly close to being at the point we're ready to bottle. I mean, that's about 20% what we started with, so it has to be close, but just running out of light. So we're just going to have to shut him down, start him again tomorrow. Well, it looks like we've reached the desired effect. See the vapour coming off there now, it's not so steamy but a nice like, plume of whitish fume so we don't want to breathe that in, we want to turn him off and let it cool down a bit. Because that battery acid must have been very, very dilute. Because you remember where we were at and now look at what we're down to. Still a bit of uh, stuff in there that needs filtering out but, but that, that'll do us for our first batch. Now we're going to filter it again into this bottle, which I've cleaned. So this will be our uh, this will be our uh, where we store our sulfuric acid. And once you've concentrated it down as well, you have to make sure it's stop it up because I, I think the word's hydronizer. The sulfuric acid in concentrated forms will pull the moisture back out of the air so it'll, it'll dilute itself. You know what? That burnt straight through that filter. <laughs> oh, well. Okie doke, it's our first batch. Carefully, let's show you what it just did to this filter. Gone. Definitely having a acidic effect on the metal funnel as well. Look at that, it's nice and clean.
anyway, I think the fun bit's over. There's our first batch. Now it's got really dirty because it did take a bit of the funnel in there with it. But that'll settle down. Once we've redone all the rest, we'll filter it out again. If it doesn't eat the filter, of course. The filter might have just overnight been dissolved away, or that concentrated sulfuric acid just tore straight through it. We'll find out. Here's our second, second batch of sulfuric acid concentrating down. This is just a marker for the level. Look around, you can see it's just below this flute here. And that's happily pumping out the steam. Um, I need to get it about 20% so down here somewhere it'll be ready. Also got this, uh, this is a proper chemical bottle so we'll put the acid in that because we, we need to be able to seal it off for later. Cool bananas. So here's the uh, finished product. You can see we got all that sulfuric acid, which we had quite a bit. It's down to that. And let me tell you, it is a lot more concentrated. I have holes in my, my clothes where I must have splashed a little bit on me. Tiny little holes, so I was pretty careful. But not careful enough, it seems. Yeah, it's, it's cloudy, but that's due to us not being able to filter it out possibly all the way because um, now it just was burning through those coffee filters but yeah down to that in a nice safe bottle I'm gonna really label the crap out of that because this bottle you don't want to drop on the ground hooray <laughs>